How to use prompt files in Visual Studio Code. Prompt files in Visual Studio Code are reusable prompts written in Markdown. They can save you loads of time and also provide consistency when performing repetitive tasks. They are still in experimental mode at the moment, but I don't think things are going to change much. There are two types of prompt files. Workspace prompt files, which will work within the whole of that workspace, that is within one project that you're working in, or user prompt files, which will be accessible to all your workspaces. Let's look at workspace prompt files. Now, first of all, you set up a file structure and you can see my file structure here. There is a .github folder and inside that you have your copilot instructions.md. That's very important because the copilot instructions will give the overview of instructions. So rather than you having to repeat things again and again, all those instructions will be there. So take a look at mine in the description. Then inside the .github folder, you have a prompts folder and that's where you're going to save your prompts. So they must end in .prompt.md, the beginning of the name, you can give it anything you like. In this case, I am using this to teach my students certain things about JavaScript. So that's why I've named them like that. I've also got an agents.md, which is exactly the same as my co-pilot's instructions. It just works with different agents. And there's also a work area folder, among others. Okay, the prompt file itself, look in the description and you'll see that my whole prompt file there. Um, here it is, I've brought it up. And inside here, you can see I've also got a variable. Now this makes it very reusable because it means I can pass different things to it. I am going to be asking the students to type in different topics on JavaScript and then my prompt is going to create uh, a feedback based on that. So take a look at that in the description. Now let's run the prompt. To run the prompt, I simply go into my chat and I do forward slash prompt and immediately you can see that all my prompts come up. I choose the one I want. In this case, it's 01. And there we are. My prompt is there. And I'm also going to pass in a variable. In this case, I'm going to say casting because I want it to tell us about casting and enter. And off it goes. Does its work? Then, uh, my prompt has told it to put the results inside the work area. Now, there you can see the work area. There is the file. I open it up. Very nice and neat. You can use prompt files for anything at all, for writing code, for writing documents, anything at all. Thank you. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and we'll bring you another video.